hi there welcome to our second video for swift beginner course for front end only so in this video we are gonna go through uh, uh, with storyboards and we are gonna implement the splash screen login screen and registration screen so for the storyboards as uh, you have started the implementation of iOS application the first thing you want to do and go to see check your storyboards which are in your project you have to go to your project and you have to select this main the storyboard file and it will show you the view controller or the screens that you're gonna make in this storyboards so why this is called storyboard because it's it's totally work like stories and we can connect the multiple screens here so that you will be seeing all of your screens at one place we'll be looking uh, these things we'll be working on these things in this course later but let's just get started and one thing you everyone notice is that whenever you you launch your mobile phone application in ios phone or somewhere or tablet you first thing you see is some screen coming up in front of you for few seconds and then your main application will be launched so that front screen which is coming in front of you for a few seconds is called launch screen so as we discussed in the previous previous lecture that we already have a design which we are going to implement here and in that design we already have our splash screen which is going to pop up in front of you for a few seconds and then after that the main application is going to run so for in ios uh, in xcode we have we don't have to set up it uh, set up the uh, the screen or the view for launch screen we just have it already here as a launch screen storyboard you, you can see this is one screen and we can implement our design here when we are going to launch the app application then the design of whatever the design we have on this screen is going to pop up on the mobile phone so let's just start with this in the previous lecture we we also have implemented and in, uh, imported all of our assets that we need all of the colors and icons that we need so all of the fonts also so we already have whatever we want to get, get started so let's get started making the launch screen so for this we have to go to the launch screen storyboards and uh, as you know that the latest mobile phone is iphone x and it has a round design so that's why it's showing us the iphone x we can change it uh, so that we can better understand the square design of the phone and we can send uh, set it to 8 plus you can see that this is a square design and we can better understand how we're going to do that okay so now first thing we need is some view here so that we can put our color in the background so to add something to add any element or any button or something we have to click on this and then we have to go to this objects section and then we have to find ui view so ui view you can see this this is we need and we can simply drag and drop this design to our screen and make it full screen now this design uh, on this view we can change the background color as you know that in the previous lecture we have added our colors here so that it can be accessible everywhere in the application so we can click on this and in the background color we can see our named colors so as we know that that the background of this is primary color which is this one this pink color so that uh, we have set this background color now as you know that uh, this view we have attached to this main screen now we have to mark it somewhere that it should be positioned every single time to a full screen now there there comes a constraint layout 
okay now we have to constrain this to all of the edges so that when we are going to launch or we are going to move to different size of screen like for example for if we change it to iPhone 11 Pro you, see, you can see that the size of this view is not going to be equal with the size of the screen so this comes with when we go to a smaller screens also so we can change back to our 8 plus and now we are going to constrain this view to its edges so that it can resize with the multiple screen sizes so we can click on this and we can click on this constraint navigator and we can set this to 0 on the top 0 on the left right and bottom okay so let's see, see that in 11 Pro now you can see that the size of this view is as equal to the visible area of 11 Pro why you can see cannot see this here because this is a safe area for status bar and the bottom bar that is why so we can go back to our 8 Pro screen 8 plus and now the second thing is now we can add uh, this logo text and the bottom text so so we need the, the logo we have is in the image form logo this is our logo and it is in the image form so what we can do we can brought some image object here and we can put it in the middle and then we can in the inspector here in the inspector here we can select our image and if we go down here we can see all of our images we have now we have to search for our image we can say the name logo so we click on it you see the image comes here now one thing you can see that uh, the image size we have to little bit increase we can do that by pressing shift and then resizing the image why we using shift because then if we resize it without the shift it is going to resize from uh, differently from all the places but if we are going to use shift it's going to resize from every place with a single value so we have to resize this icon we can mark it as uh, a square and we can do we can do this resize also in the resize inspector so you say you see that the height is 180 and we can make the width also is 180 okay and we can put this image in the center now we can also set constraints for this image for so that it can remain in the center all the time just for the example if we change right now to 11 pro you see the image changes its position so if we want the image to stay in the center all the time we have to constrain it somewhere we can position it somewhere and we have to tell the system that at which position we need this image all the time so we are going to back we are back to 8 plus and now if I see that uh, there is a better way now as, as I know that I want to place it in the center from the vertical and the horizontal so we do not need this inspector we can just go here and horizontal in container and vertical in container we can select this and we can do horizontal and vertical in container you can see that it is coming now you see that the width and the 
height is automatically adjusted with the container second thing we need this text here and this text also these are labels so let's jump right into it and add some labels now you see that the first uh, we have to go here and then we have to go in object section and then we can add label we can add some label here we can zoom in and now this label we have to add it these properties like colors and changing the text we can go to inspector and then we can change the label now it is saying simple task manager simple task manager so second thing we can do because this label has its own area so I want this labeled already all the time in the center of that its own area second thing is the color the color of the label will be the color of the icon okay and then the third thing is font now to set the font we have to come here and select on custom now in custom here we have we you know that we already have added all our fonts file here so we can go to this avenir and we can select this book font okay so this font will be here and we can reduce little bit of the size here see simple task manager and it is set here now as we already know that we have to constrain this text also somewhere so that it will always remain underneath this and it's not going to place somewhere somewhere else when we are going to move to different screens so we can constrain it but i'm going to constrain this text underneath this image because we always need this text underneath this image so there are many different ways to constrain this first we already know that we need this text right in the middle of the screen okay so we can select this text we can go here and we can center it horizontally okay and now as also as i also know that this text is going to be underneath this logo but with some margin so there are multiple ways i can click i can press control on my computer and then i can click and drag to this here and this is going to save me this leading center vertical now we need actually we need vertical spacing here we can do the same here also by pressing control then click and then drag to this logo and all of the options coming here will also be the same now you know that this is horizontal space so we can click here we can see vertical spacing okay and now our text is aligned right underneath and there is no error to manage third thing we need the same for this bottom text here we can go here we can go to object section we can select label we can put underneath we can change the text at the rate copy so we can set it to 2020 okay we can change the color to light gray and we can change the font size we can change the font member Avenue light and we can change the size to 15 okay 
we can drag this element right in the middle and as you know that if something is in the middle we can just simply go here and we can set to horizontal in container and now we have to decide whether we are going to mark this or constrain this label to this text or the bottom so the best way is to constrain this with the bottom we have we can go to this constraint inspector and we can select this bottom or we can just change the size from here also so it is constrained with the bottom now let's let's uh, run our application in sc2 and uh, let's see how it's going to look like in the, with the splash screen so to run our application we can do two things first we can go to products and we can build build the project then after that we can run but we can also do this by one button here which is this play button it's going to build your whole project all of the files and then it's going to run on this desired device we want now to select the device we can click on this and we can see all of the simulators that which are available right now on which we can run our application so the latest one is iPhone SC2 so we can just press on click uh, click on play button and this is going to build the whole project then it's going to bring up the simulator here and then we're going to see the application now the build is successful the app is going to launch you see the simulator just came up you have to just wait a few minutes to load the app the simulator as you can see the first thing comes up when the, uh, the app launches first thing comes up for few seconds is the splash screen the app has been launched for the first time that is why it is loading too much and uh, this splash screen is coming for a longer time let it load or we can just stop from here and we can click to our application and we can see the splash screen comes for a few seconds we can just do it again we can double click or now now let's come to this uh, this is the end of this video and uh, now let's see you in the next video and in the next video we're going to create the login screen and the registration screen see you thank you